Hey guys, I'm Henrietta Hedgehog. Today we will use rounding and compatible numbers to estimate solutions for problems. When would you use compatible numbers rather than rounding? When the numbers are very easily added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided together, especially mentally. For example, 261 would normally round to 260. But I know that 9 times 3 is 27, so if I think of this as 270 divided by 3, I know the answer is approximately 90. In money, we know that 75 cents plus 25 cents make a dollar. So if I think of this number as 575, and I think of the second number as 125, I can mentally say this is 500, 600, and the 75 and 25 make another 100, so this is 700. And again, we're estimating. I also know that 12 times 12 is 144, so if I think of this as 144, then the estimated answer is 12. In multi-step problems, we may actually use both strategies. Okay, let's get started. Marilyn sold 18 Easter yard decorations for $42 each. She spent $285 on materials to make the decorations. Estimate the amount of her profit. Remember, profit's the amount of money that you make after you take out expenses. We first have to figure out how much money she got from the yard decorations. Well, if I sold 18 yard decorations for $42 each, I would multiply to get the total amount. So we're going to estimate and we'll round 18 to 20. We'll round the $42 to 40 and then multiply. So Marilyn brought in approximately $800. Next, we need to take out her expenses. She brought in $800, and to take out her expenses, that means we subtract it, I'm going to round the 285 to 300, and I subtract. So Marilyn's profit was approximately $500. The high school theater department sold 34 packs of admission tickets to their play. Each pack had 18 admission tickets. They also sold 187 tickets at the door. Estimate the number of tickets that the high school theater team sold. All right, let's think about the action here. I have 34 packs. Each pack has 18 tickets. So to get the total, I could multiply. But instead of saying 34 times 18, I'm going to round and think 30 times 20. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so this would be 600 tickets. They also sold tickets at the door, and since my estimated answer so far is rounded to the hundreds, I'm going to round the 187 to 200. So they sold 600 tickets in advance, plus another 200 tickets, so the estimated answer is 800 tickets. Wow, that's a lot of tickets. All right, let's try one more. Janice signed up for a satellite internet service. The equipment deposit was $276 and the installation fee was $123. These two fees will be paid equally over four months on her bill. Estimate the amount that will be paid each month. Well, if I have something that's going to be paid over four months, that's a division action. But I first need to get the total. I need to know what I'm dividing over the four months. So I need to add these two expenses. Remember what I said about money? Let's think of the 276 as 275 and the 123 is 125. So when I add those, it's very easily to do it mentally. So this would be 300 and the 75 and the 25 make another. This is 400. So I have $400 that I have to divide equally over four months. So that would be $100 each month. Okay, guys, it's your turn. 